That is Will Phillips swimming for two and a half years, and that's a serious turn. It's Jeff versus. I'm going to need some help on this one, Coach. Uh, what do you say? I think we got to start off with his his strength is his turn, yeah. his underwater speed. One thing that you got to try and match him on it. You need to get a good tight streamline and very fast dolphin kick. Let's go. There we go. Kick those feet. We need to keep those feet moving. Talk to me a little bit about Will. Will came into the program two and a half years ago. He played hockey, pretty high level. He's a very athletic young fella. Uh, went through some injuries. Okay, I'm going to be a swimmer. We're in the wall. Okay. The problem with swimming is not a sport you start from the bottom up. Now, when you're going to race Will, don't breathe every stroke. Okay. Well, breathe every fourth. He's a kid. He's very athletic. He comes in. Okay, I'm going to swim. I want to win. Right. So he's driven to learn and to get fast. And he's gone from not even a regional level kid, no skull, all right? Get rid of that skull and get your elbows high to, you know, up to the like Eastern Canadian country. national level swimming. In two and a half years. Two and a half years. So how much do you think uh, that hockey competitiveness has served him in the pool? Uh, I think the competitiveness is either developed through hockey or it's just he is one of these athletes that no matter if it's hockey, swimming, yeah. winks, he wants to win at it. He wants to be the best at it. Yeah. I started swimming a little bit when I was 10 because my sister swam competitively, and I hated it. Came once a week, crying. Mom had to buy me Dairy Queen after every time. <laughs> Where have you gone in the last two years with swimming? Where has it taken you? Uh, a couple national meets, provincial championships, wow. things like that. I train okay. 10 sessions a week. Mm -hmm. Six of them are in the morning, 5.30. OK. And how long is the session? Two hours. So it's 20 hours of training a week. Yes. That's uh, a lot more than a lot of, you know, part-time jobs. Yeah. What are your long-term goals in swimming? Well, ultimately, I'd want to compete in an international level. Okay. Olympics? If, I don't want you, you know, to set that goal, but it's there. Yeah. yeah. I have a backyard pool. I train just about uh, half an hour a week, mostly splashing and throwing a four-year-old. Mm -hmm. How do you think that's going to help me? Um, probably good chances. <laughs> Say 50-50. Okay. Went through all our prep. Turn, streamline, get her feet. Okay. okay. 50 meter sprint. Okay. Swimmer's ready. Hup. Will is natural. I mean, he's, he's swimming his 15 meter speed, probably as well as some of the best we have in our country. Wow. Right? Now we just got to continue that on. There's still a lot of real basic skill development and a lot of background and training. I mean, he's competing against kids who've been swimming 10, 12 years. So that huge yeah. background he doesn't have yet. And every year he's going to gain. When you're swimming, when you're in the pool, what is it you like about it? You don't actually like swimming. That's the thing with swimmers. Okay. I just love to race. And every session is basically a preparation for that race. Huh. Well, Phillips, unbelievable job. I want to say, Will, wherever swimming takes you, we're excited to see where that goes. All the best in the future, man. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Will Phillips.